Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Friday night and the continuation of Cloudpunk. Um, I started playing this Tuesday and we got, I think, about an hour in or so. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see how the rest of the story goes between um, Rania and Camus and Control. So without further ado, let's continue the game. Okay, so here's where we left off. We were back in the apartment. Camus, can you read me? I'm in the apartment. You're authorized to access the systems in here. I am here. It is amazing. There's a table and a balcony, and the roof perfectly fits on top of the walls. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. A bit sparse. I'd love to be able to decorate, you know, make it less clinical. Do you remember the birds we had back home? Yes. They landed on the window ledge. I could never catch them. Yeah, not much chance of wildlife here. Hey, 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 we got a window ledge. Rats. I detect almost 50 within the property. Ugh, do me a favor, Camus. Never mention rats again. Okay. There are also a number of rare breeds of sump spider. Ugh, also not good. Come on, we should get back to work. If I get a bonus tonight, maybe I can buy a picture. Or a mirror. Or something. We can buy a lamp. I think that's where we were last time. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Come in. We need you to deliver a package to the Sin Wave nightclub. You're going to have to deliver in person to the rooftop. That's where you can access the VIP area. So I just go to the door and. <laughs> Not going to lie to you, kid. This one is going to be tricky, but I think you can do it. The club's picky about who gets in. Have you heard of Lomo? No. He's the owner of the club, and most of this sector, too. He's got a piece of every business in the Undertown. And he didn't get them by asking nicely. Be careful about him. I will. Are they expecting me? Uh, sure. I'm just letting you know you might uh, come sure. up against some resistance. Yeah. These are powerful people, so watch what you say. Powerful people? Let's just say they're very private clients who have reason to suspect any strangers might be undercover corpsec. You'll have to convince them otherwise. Understood. And 14 FC? Yeah. This has been a tough night for the company. We're understaffed and overworked and we keep losing contact with drivers. There's something in the air tonight. Be careful. And if you do a good job on this delivery, all past infractions are forgiven. Understood? Understood. What past infractions? I don't remember that we infected anything. Except maybe blow up a building when we drop that bomb off, but okay. We won't mention that anymore. Oh, what's that? Oh, punch card. Okay. Off to Cloudpunk HQ. this do I know you do I know you what if I knew you I might not know let me try this again why are you hanging around outside my apartment are you with the debt corp or corp sec are you spying on me I am your neighbor shouldn't you be in your apartment then I am waiting to talk with you what do you want not creepy I want to at all know if I know you if we used to know each other if we were friends. No, I just moved in. I've never met you before. Are you okay? Uh, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> You're an android, right? So did you have a firmware upgrade that went wrong or something? I hear those can cause androids to lose their memories, I think. I definitely no. lost their minds. Do you remember my friend, Dr. Zizic? We live next door. No, I told you I just moved in. She is missing. I am alone. Look, I'm really busy. I just moved here and I barely have any money. 
I don't want money. Why would you say that? I didn't ask you for money. I'm sorry. I just don't know if I'm the best person to help you. I don't know anyone else. There's some homeless shelters for androids downtown. I have a home. What do you think I can She's do for you? Next door to you? There is a card. It was posted into your mail. I think it is for me. That's it? Just a card? Yes, I need it. It is how I will start to come back to me. Is that the card we just picked up? Oh god, did I break the game already? By picking up a card before I'm supposed to? Or is there another card in here? Yeah, I think I think I picked up the card too soon. <laughs> Shit. What's that? Uh, let's just upgrade. Let's buy. Uh oh, cool. Well, everybody likes pizza. Let's get a Sweet. fridge too. And Aww. a plant, of course. Okay, where all the stuff go? Is it in my inventory? E corner, sort of, kind of, sort of. No. Hey, there's a pizza. Ah, balls. What do you mean, balls? That's good. Thank my you. My favorite. Yes, please. Alright, ate half the pizza. What do we do with the other half? Can't do anything with the other half. And what happened to my plant? I don't see my plant. Is that the plant? No, this blue flower. Okay. Maybe my plant is still on route. Hopefully, Evelyn will take that card that I picked up earlier. I found the card. You can yep. have it. Thank you. So, what is it? A punch card. Which is... Thank you, Captain Obvious. A relic. Dr. Zizitz liked old things. Antiques. Our home is filled with grandfather clocks, teapots, DVD players. But this card, I know this is just the first of many. Where are the rest? You don't want me to check with all our neighbors, do you? The rest were with Dr. Zizic. They are scattered. So where is Dr. Zizic? She is also scattered. You mean... Dead? Last month, the 1875 B shuttle for Phobos took off from Terminal B while the launch bay doors were still closed. I don't One think of a series good. of systemic failures that took place across a range of Novalis' safety protocol algorithms, the explosion caught over 100 vehicles in the blast radius, including Dr. Zizic's Hova. So she's... I'm sorry. You did not know her, but thank you. She was your flatmate? We were best friends. We came to Novalis together. We met at the periphery. She was the last doctor to leave. I was the last surgeon. So I guess the doctor. So you she are Dr. Evelyn? Although I was conferred the title, none of the humans used it. But if you were operating and saving lives, you were a doctor. If no one calls you a doctor or treats you like one, you are not a doctor. Still, you were saving lives and... Please do not tell me how to label myself. Sorry. So the periphery? I hear it was pretty dangerous out there. It was. But Nivalis is dangerous too. Is it better here, in the city? I saw terrible things at the periphery, but there was hope. Friends, I have not found those things here yet. Will you set up practice here in Novalis? You want to be friends? No. Dr. Zizic had a plan for us, but it is no longer in my memories. I guess I can look for these pages. I travel around the city, so... It would help me a great deal. Please bring me any you find. 
I will. And if you need anything else, well, we're neighbors, right? We can look out for each other. Yes, neighbors. Okay, so Dr. G6 was also an android? Alright, let's pick up the package at uh, Cloudpunk headquarters. Uh, all the way over here. My uh, vehicle looks a little beat up. It's probably because of my driving, but... Uh, uh, let's see, there's the nearest interstate. Like that driving, yes. Actually, I need to go the other way. So let's go back. Let's just cross into traffic. Let's gas in the garage or something. So gas. Twenty three two one hundred. So I need to start looking for a parking spot and I think I see one over there. Whoop. Let's pick it up. see what headquarters has for me this time we have his package but will Lomo think we are undercover corpse sec we don't look like undercover corpse sec what would undercover corpse <laughs> sec look like Camus you take I the words out of my mouth like us. we have to act natural not suspicious exactly it is hard to act not suspicious when you are worried about being killed you know what else doesn't help <laughs> talking too much you're learning fast, Camus. Or talking about the fact that we may get killed. That's really a comforting thought. Doesn't look like it's too far away unless this is one of those tunnels. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, buddy. I think this is one of those conducting tunnels. Gallows Row. Hmm. Uh, oh, pardon me. I definitely need to find a garage. Turn left here, I think. And left here again. Definitely around here somewhere. Let's get out of the mainstream and get some height to see if there's a parking spot. 
I'm suspecting there's a parking spot over here somewhere. There we go. Oop. There we go. Park him. That uh, looks like a chase. I think they finally got OJ. side of this double building should be an opening and there's a guy a bouncer who are you I'm here to deliver a package sure you are fuck off look I need to get past they're expecting me in the VIP area upstairs make it worth my while really how I don't have much money I don't want money get me some juice juice and all bottles. Corpsec aren't allowed to hold them. So if you bring me some, I know you ain't a cop and I can sell them. Is he dealing in something? Alright, so where do I find juice? I don't think it's those cards. Those are punch cards, I think. Or other crap. Oh wait, maybe there's a dealer around here somewhere. That guy? Does he sell juice? Here's what I can offer you today. No. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. What about this? Big narco. You from the east, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Sure. Hey, there's some juice. I think one will be enough, right? So we're done Thanks. with this guy. You folks from the east are good with me, but no sec. Nope, no sec, buddy. Back to Mr. Bouncer. I brought your juice. All right, go ahead. That was easy. Into the club. I think we're in the club. Well, nope, that's not our guy. There is Lomo. I'm the delivery driver. I have your package. You're not Carmine. He used to run my packages. He retired. Retired, eh? You know who I am, driver. Lomo? That's right. You bring me packages. No questions. No mistakes. We'll be friends. If you let me down, probably not. I understand. Sounds like a What's threat. Your name? Rania. Well, Rania, I have some advice for you. Sure. You want to hear? Sure. <laughs> you got a don't fuck with me look on your face. But those are some clean hands. In the city, you've got to adapt quick. All the shit in the world ends up in the sea. But we still swim in it. If you dilute anything enough, it becomes tolerable. You the old say? philosopher. Not really. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. You make a million choices a day to survive in Nevalis, and some of those choices are gonna hurt folks. You ain't got time to think about that. You just keep moving. Understand? I think so. All right, get going then, Rania. Cora willing, you might just make it through the night. The first night is apparently very dangerous for delivery drivers, so I guess I'm done here. Let's see what this blue dot over here is. 
Now it's on the other side of this table. Mm, on the other side of this thing. The memory chip. Camus, you there? Yes, I'm here. Camus, people keep mentioning Cora. What is it? Not sure. Just an expression? Yeah, I get that, but it must come from somewhere. Do a basic search through Open Web and Pub Web. Searching. 872 different definitions for Cora. Just give me the gist. In the city of Nivalis, Cora can be used in common parlance to refer to the personification of luck or fate. Can be uttered as a blessing or a curse. Ocarina. Can refer to the hacker collective or cult of the same name. Can be an expletive or used as a noun to refer to the AI governing specific aspects of logistics, theology, sociology, or what was that about the logistics? City operation. In historical context, can refer to the. Okay, that's plenty. <laughs> you know, you really need to learn a bit about the word relevance, Chemis. Should I look it up? Wait. We have an incoming call. Get you there. Ready for another job? Sure thing. Hey, Control. What is Cora? Cora, uh, a code word used by hackers, an, an anarchist group, an expression for when you're tired of shit. Why do you ask? It doesn't matter. Just give me my next job. You're delivering to an unsanctioned street race, so watch out for Corpsec. Pick up a drive converter from Emmett's garage. Hey, your garage. Your delivery target is Never Slow Joe. Come on, love. <laughs> Never are Slow you there? Joe. Here. Chemist, I want you to do a deep search for Cora. Not mainstream corp networks. Hit the deep net and the undernet. Is it important? I don't know. Hmm. I see it everywhere. And there was something about Control's reaction. It means something to him. Won't we get in trouble? Of course we will. My head. I don't feel good. You don't have a head, Chemist. <laughs> you're running on a low clock speed processor, so that's why you're struggling. Take yourself offline while you do the search. I'll be okay without you for a while. You need to swim. You remember how to do that? You need to copy yourself into the other networks and travel upstream. Just keep I swimming. Remember. You're looking for Cora, remember? I want old data. Where did the name come from? That's your focus. I will try. Going now. Camus Automata now offline. Oh, well, that means you got the standard AI now. That looks like a garage over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. I'm here to collect a driver converter. Drive converter? <laughs> sure. Whatever. You don't know what it is, do you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it regulates the hydraulic output of the water tanks. It wears out fast, but without it, you got no grab lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Only the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. You're not listening, are you? I think they need nope. this pretty quickly. You're right, they do. You better get going. What do they do with it when they get it? They don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do, or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> I know you're not interested. I'll let you go. See you around, kid. Let's go. Let's find out where we need to go. So it's that away. Three hundred, two hundred. I don't like 
those big columns. Uh, where am I going? Where is Never Slow Joe? Are you part of the race? I've got a drive converter for him. They went already. I'm the start line. Can I head them off? I'm really just here to wave them off, miss. Damn it. Control, are you on the comm? What do I do? The race has already started. I'm here. Joe won't get far without that part. I'm giving you a nav point. Seems like he might have broken down already. Seriously? Yep, over there. You have to complete this job. Remember what we told you when you signed up? No failures. Without that part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. Get to him as fast as you can. I'm not much of a racer. I'll try. You can do this, kid. Remember, straight roads are for fast cars, but the city is for fast drivers. Okay, there's Joe. There's supposed to be a park area. Where the hell is that parking area? Am I underneath it? There we go. Easy now. Park this sucker. And how do we get to Joe? Still says I'm 31 away. I'm on top of him. Oh, uh, uh, elevator. Is there an elevator somewhere? Uh, shit, how do I get to him? I shouldn't be picking up random crap right now. There's something about not being able to land without that part, so... Maybe I just need to get in the vehicle? And... Lower myself. Wait a minute. He's higher. Somewhere on this level. Oh, turn around. There he is. Never slow Joe. How the hell do I get to him? Because there's no parking here. Maybe I do need to park down there and then go to these elevator things? There's an elevator right there. Okay, that's it. So yeah, turn around. Park there. get to the elevators. Can't park there. I can't get to that elevator unless I go to the other side. elevator or so. Yeah, that goes up. So, go on this walkway. Alright. 
hopefully that gets me across then. Looks like it. Because here and then right here. There he is. Are you never slow, Joe? No, I am currently very slow, <laughs> Joe. You got my converter? Yeah. Thanks, Cloudpunk. I'm gonna give you this old one. It's busted, but if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limps. These converters are worth a lot of money? Well, they sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe here. Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you drive around the city in that piece of junk. Thanks. You're braver than me, kid. What do they call you? Rania. Ah, that's no good. My name's no good? What do you suggest? On the run, Rania. What do you think? I like it. Sounds good to me. All right. On the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. That race must not be that important. He just takes time out to chat to me. Hey, wait a minute. We need to give you a nickname. Uh, let's pick up this thing. Punch card. Yeah. I am back. Did Great you hear sources. all of that? On the run, Rania. I don't like it. He's a racer, not a oh. poet, Cass. Oh. Are you going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? Yeah. Sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. If no. I give this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So, are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? Or take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man? I think we'll take it to the Mr. Magnet Mechanic Man. I could choose a friend or two. Uh, shit. There we go. And that's my POS. So we got the green for selling and the yellow for bringing back. So we go towards the yellow. Yeah, a bit lower below the beams. Somewhere on the right here. Sorry, on the left here. Oh, 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 oh. Joe said to give this to you? Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award a lot of prize money. So he won't need to retire? Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll fix up his hobo when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess so. I guess that's up to him. There we go. Let's fix up the POS. I found out more about Cora. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Another job? No. If you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first. 
get yourself a coffee girl you deserve it so where do I get a coffee green dot green dot So only one place in the whole town that sells coffee. Uh, I, oh, oh, damn it! Good thing I just repaired this whole vehicle. here and then anybody see a parking spot around here boys hmm. on the other side of this building there's something. Can I get across? Maybe with that blue tunnel? Let's give that a try. Oops. Back up. Back up. Alright. So... Blue tunnel. There's a guy over there I can talk to? Nope. Guess I need to go this way. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. There's a merchant. Dynamite Simpson. Hey, come here a minute. I'm busy. Come here. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I don't think we I'm got coffee yet. Okay. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand... He's a hustler. And you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think they do. Hey, thanks for the uh, follow, Paperclips. Perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages. We're farmers. And we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow Rachel, up thank you for the rate. Why did I not see that? I grew up playing Bach. So you're a musician. <laughs> 
I don't see the chat on this screen for some reason. Thanks for the heads up. Can I take a photo hey, Mackie. If you pay me. Perhaps if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. Welcome, Raiders. My people. It's a gift um, their daughters to I'm Nightmare. Them. I'm trying to do yeah. some. Uh, oh, now it picks up. It suddenly starts really? refreshing. This will be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's, it's a it's a funny game. Really? Uh, it has some humor in it. The graphics are not like. Here, you would really like high tech graphics, but Sell they're enough to uh, gift from your mother? to sure, uh, get you by. Excellent. I think this will look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. I'm doing good, Mackie. How are you doing? Oh no, your mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really protect women from predatory men? Hell it's no. It's just a dead flower, Canis. All right, let's see if this gets me to my coffee, because get me to the next stage. Yes, it does. Look at that. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm All right, Neo. enjoy your dinner, you. Rachel. Let's get that coffee. That's good. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Oh, thank you, Neo. Let's scrounge around for some of those punch cards while we're here. Help out Evelyn. Oh, really? What do you want, Camus? Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? <coughs> I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes. Got a punch that card. Is it. Yes. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it. It's just it's a bit dry. Yeah, Why Camus is definitely a good boy. Why don't take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep. Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata oh. reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Cora and Neo. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Uh-oh. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <laughs> this data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example? I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora. Yes. Pretty much like God. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called the Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Okay, so a thousand is about three. Reigning atop 327 a years ago, automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Cora is the last of the 12 founders. 
complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating hmm. on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Cora is commonly discussed, is high? in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, Computer Operated Recycling Agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? <sighs> More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? <sighs> I'm hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... Never mind. No. I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, <laughs> I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. <laughs> so Cora is either like a, a god type thing or it's just a recycling AI. I saw you looking at me from over there. Hey, I coffee guy. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town and this coffee is... Like Hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. <laughs> no, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. So this you literally is like the only coffee in place teens. in town. Okay. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. So you're actually... 75. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you uh, want to do something? I Are you asking date? No, I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. That's a date, buddy. Do something. How specific? We could. Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. Shooting. I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't mm. like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. <laughs> uh, what about pizza? <laughs> Better. What kind? Artichoke and avo from the new hipster place uptown. Jeez. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. I have a feeling that's the last we see of coffee guy. All right, let's see if we can get out of this place. Uh, control, give me a minute. Driver 14 FC, are you out of your hava? Yeah. There are no brakes for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost don't, more don't drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. <laughs> we just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... Distracted. It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. So basically do the job. Deal. 
No questions. One more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. Fascinating. Control. <laughs> Control sounds familiar. And yeah, Mackie, just... Pizza dates are fine, just not anchovies and artichoke or whatever it was. Artichoke and avocado. That is just a wrong combination. Alright, let's get on this interstate here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, tiger. Is it just me or is this moving faster? It doesn't want me to go into that. It wants me to go over here. Okay. Let's go up. There's a bunch of parking places down there. It wants me to go here somewhere. Go any higher? Oh, it's actually going further away, so I need to go lower. I think I should probably back up and go in those parking spots that we saw back here. Uh, yeah, right here. See if we can get there from here. Uh, actually, it looks like we have to go this way. Elevator that I saw. Yeah, there's one over there. Hopefully that goes up. Because I think we need to go up. It goes down. We'll see if it needs to go down. It actually needs to go down. Okay. as long as we get closer. Yeah, this looks like a straight shot here. 40. Close. There's Gil. Are you the delivery person? Yes, we are. Rania, yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. The limbs, calm. Holocrons, augments, everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah. A chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take a shot. I get the to spire? go above the clouds. Is it safe? Sure, yeah. Of course. Okay then. Does it sound Good safe? Luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but that doesn't sound safe. Hey, Rania, you met that guy going on the ascension? Yeah. Is he really going through with it? He says the ascension takes him to the spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to I picked up a human hand. Then what? <laughs> I thought it was going to be a punch now card. He falls a few miles down into the sea. Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? 
You think everything in the city is logical? Well, look around, Radia. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He knew? <laughs> he knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Nepalis, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? I think it's hitting him. Drink, right? Pretty hard. You should try it sometime, right? When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a cloud punk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloud Punk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloud Punk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we drop them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloud Punk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloud Punk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, Chemis. I have to think. Hmm. I'm leaning towards dropping Gil's package into the mailbox instead of returning it to Cloud Punk. I think Cloud Punk is making enough money here. So, let's do that. Let's go that away. There's a highway right next to me here. I probably need to get some gas. I'm running low on it. I guess I can set him down here. Drop off the packets. Uh, I'm on the wrong side, but there's one of those blue transporter thingies. Let's try it. Hopefully it gets me to the right side. Bingo. Mail packets. I can't do it, Camus. I can't give away Gil's final possessions to settle his debts. Will we get in trouble? Probably. I don't care. But we unlocked the fist tank. The apartment where we spent so much time. Alright. Big park over there. Let's see if we can get to that card first. It's on the other side of this thing. Um, are you there? Sort of. Yeah. He's drunk. You don't sound good, Control. What? I'm fine. I, uh, if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he's had some drinks. He sounds strange. Like he is confused. Uh, broadcasting nav point. Collect the package, 14FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? Always questions from you. Just do your goddamn job. Control out. Jeez, he's a mean drunk. 
Hey, gang member. Hey, come here a minute. Why? We want to talk to you. So talk. What do you do? Delivery driver. You're cloud punk, right? So you must be thinking you're pretty badass. If you say so. Why you be nice to her? She delivers to the spire. She don't respect us. Show me something to respect then. You're sassy, acting like you weren't afraid of us. Oh, I be becoming ain't. Cockney she English don't know here. Who she's talking to Razor. She don't know how you got that name. Razor. Are you a shaving robot? <laughs> you don't gotta take that from her type, Razor. You gotta do something. Nah, I like her. She's got a big mouth like me. So you're both part of Block 4-0, right? You heard of us. I heard there's an android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. You don't want to get in our way. Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Robbing people? Nah, much worse. Urban renewal, bitch. Oh, yeah. Urban renewal? Wait, like what? blowing up things? Urban renewal? Yeah, community project. Planting gardens on corporate waste ground. Oh, these guys are badass. Factories and playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, I don't get it at all. There ain't nothing in the Volus that will get you in more trouble than fucking with corporate property. We would be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Well, good luck, I guess. That sounds like a worthwhile thing for a gang to do. I just figured gangs in Navalis were a bit more... You assumed wrong, but that's all right. We ain't surprised they talk shit about us. Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, Razor. She's all right. You stay loose, Cloud Punk. We we'll see you later. All righty then. We made some friends. out grumpy control here uh, that looks like the highway we're going that away sorry oh yeah gas uh, where do we park for this thing here Fill her up. This is a crazy game. I like the humor in it. Sorry, buddy. Shouldn't have been descending. Sorry, there was a pop-up from Windows about sticky keys. I think it's because of my shift key usage. <laughs> yeah, the humor is definitely awesome. They did a good job with that. The only thing I don't like is that you're completely disoriented when you get out of one of those tunnels. It halts you completely and it even looks like the direction is not the same. Alright. I hope there's a left turn coming up somewhere. There we go. A bit to the right. And there's a left. Cutting you off there. Oh, 
sorry. Ah, damn it. I'm still doing so well. Uh, must be over here somewhere. Oh, we're in a deprecated zone now. So actually, I need to be over there. How do I get there? Is there an elevator right next to us? Okay. I think there's an elevator. So if I go up, I can probably cross over to that side. Uh, let's see if this elevator goes up. If I can get to the elevator. Where is the freaking elevator? Wait, that's not an elevator. What are those yellow things? Well, let me get to that elevator then. You from the east, lady? You're good, with no corpse sack. Got it? Okay. Yeah. Thanks. But good buddy. You folks from the east are good with me. But no sec. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there another bubble? There's a white bubble here. Yeah, just go ahead, push me out of the way, you. Let's go up. Let's go up. Yeah. get to the other side. Yeah, there we go. Now I can cross. And... The package is... This is the package? I'm the delivery driver. I'm here to pick up something. Yes, you're here to take our original corbet. Huh? Oh, it's a painting, dear. You'll be taking me and Mr. Butler, too. Oh. I don't think I'm supposed to take passengers. What is all this nonsense? Mr. Octavius Butler, this was all supposed to be arranged. Didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this painting out of our sight? I did, my love, I did. There must be some confusion. I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem, and we'd hate to raise a complaint. Is that not right, young miss? Sure. I, so. I don't want to lose my 5.0 driver it. rating. I want to see our new apartment as soon as possible. Apparently, Trisha and the Joneses have moved in next door already. And I Joneses. don't want her spreading gossip about our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. Uh. Oh okay. my, this is cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree. Very nice indeed. Do Thank you understand you. us, young lady, or should we speak slower? I understand fine. Dear, you, you must speak be English? very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like Mr. Octavius Butler met. Sure. Tell us your life story, lady. <laughs> well, I can tell from your accent that you're not from the city, but we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler is human passing, but I don't care about that. I love him for who he is inside, not what his outer True skin love. is made of. It's a polymer plastic. <laughs> Oh, you are hilarious. What was I saying? Oh, yes. We met at a charity fundraiser. Yes, it's we not going to go well. For life 
That was close. HR and Mr. Octavius Butler is in acquisitions. We had executive Damn offices it. next door. We started meeting for coffee, and one thing led to another. Wow. And now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Oh. Uh, yeah. Very happy. Definitely. We're suddenly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, don't start all that again. This area is up and coming now. The people living there couldn't afford it, and they wouldn't fit in either. With hypergentrification, they're forced out instantly instead of being pushed out over months and years. It's a short, sharp shock, but it's for the best for everyone. Hypergentrification. All right. That's a good Scrabble word. Who argue against free markets don't really believe in freedom. What freedom does this bring to the people who can't plan for a future? That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. Not everyone is suited for life in the city. Some people need to live here? Well, maybe in the nice places, but who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? No one stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme or other to make their way up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. Our society has a million slots and each must be filled. Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the holocrons yesterday that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, noodles with rat. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. I love a maggot pizza. We're almost at our destination. Splendid. Did I actually beat the conversation? You see, Mr. Octavius Butler? Look at this fabulous place. Different and together, but separate. That's how we exist together in this city without all the systems breaking down. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't hearken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like humans. Oh, don't androids bring up the revolution. Are just a part of society, low and high. We are all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. You can come and stay in my penthouse as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very distinguished line of androids. <laughs> He's descended from the very first Korra models. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Korra? It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way... It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice here. We're very enlightened people in the city, you know. Yeah, you said that before. Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? Oh, no, I, I hope so. not. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. I'm sure they're long gone. Either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and rat salad. Wow. Offense, dear. Yeah, yeah, we're very again. enlightened. Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle that's much more rustic than our limo. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so. Yeah. Interesting couple. <laughs> that's GTFO. Um. Hold on, there was a card over there, I think. Let's see if we can get that for... Um, ah, shit. That's on the other side. Never mind. We'll pick it up. We'll pick up some punch cards for um, our neighbor. God, 
This is why I'm not a taxi driver. <laughs> I didn't like them. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think they would like automata or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them, less educated, less well connected, less stuck up. Different in any way. But one of them was an android. I know, Camus. Stuck I up have a androids. Question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? No, Camus. <laughs> I was playing along. <laughs> oh, a joke. I laugh at them. Me too. It's all we can do. Hmm. So. It is very quiet. It makes me nervous. We can listen to the ad streams if you like. Are they interesting? We'll sure, find out, if I you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. What about music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. Oh, if you on, want it, Martin. I can put it on. Get some Fine. music going. But we're not tuning into any of the Corp music feeds. They're all ads and Corp approved pop stars. They sound so empty. Hollow. How do we find other feeds? I only know about Corp channels. The radio, Camus. The what? The radio. An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz. You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. <laughs> it's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse <laughs> shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. How did you know? Mom told me if I ever thousands visited Nivalis, I should tune into the when pirate radio. When this play? She said it was the only good thing about the city. Go ahead, play something over the speakers. What about this? I like it. Maybe something a bit more relaxed, though. I know this one. I like the bit that goes ba ba ba. Yeah, it's nice, Camus. <laughs> but let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, what about this? Do we know who this is? No, it is radio. Right. Sorry. Dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is one more. Yes. This is perfect. Mom would have liked this. We have a new job coming in. From Control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's Cloud Monk. I have a nav point. Let's All right, go then. Let's go there. The music is pretty good. Straight ahead. Sorry about that. Got a little tickle in my throat. Shortcut, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Sorry, Mackie. I need a cough button. So I think they did a great job with the environment, the different scenery and everything. It looks really finished. I mean, 
Yeah, the graphics are kind of 8-bit-ish, but for the rest, I, I really like the atmosphere. It really makes you think that you're in a, in a futuristic city. Taking a right there. I'll take this right and we'll double back. <laughs> Looks definitely busier here. Oh, it's somewhere to the right here. parking lot here. Considering it's only 200 units away, let's park here if it lets us. Come on. There we go. Looks like I'll have to go on foot. It's pretty far from a parking bay. Oh, I will stay here and play in. the waiting game. What's the waiting game? I guess how long it takes for me to get bored. Then, when I get bored, I start the game again. <laughs> right. I'll try to be quick. Oh, Camus. Alright, uh, to the left. Yeah, Camus is definitely the star of the show. Let's take the elevator, and it does take us in the right direction, so that's good. this elevator goes up as well. Yep. That's how we get to that level. Did you get bored? No, it is true. I am being stolen. Shit, really? Lock the doors. They are already inside. Tell them to get out. Threaten them. Pretend you have an anti-theft subroutine. Uh, they can hear you. Oh. Why am I on speed? <laughs> <laughs> I am Shit. taking off. I am frightened. Deactivate the Hava. Can't. <laughs> Hacked. Hava Automata eject custom personality Camus data drive. Eject? What if I fall into the ocean? Then you'll float, I think. You think? What if I get... Damn it! Eject Camus data drive, now! Drive deactivated and ejected. Camus? Camus? You deactivated shit, him. Shit, shit, Think, Rania. Think. The drive. It should be registered to me. I can track it on my comm. Okay, so now we gotta rescue Camus. Uh, how do I get there? Go down? I'm getting a little closer. Can I get across here? Mm. 
looks like that is hooking up. Yeah, I can get across there. Hopefully canvas is okay. There he is. Damn it, Camus, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to dry you off, I guess. You can't talk to me right now. You probably can't even hear me. But if you can, I'm going to fix this. This isn't going to be a pleasant phone call. Control? Control, can you hear me? I read you, kid. Uh, you okay? Yeah. No. Look, I have some bad news. You lost the Hava? Yes. How did you... We track it. Listen. <coughs> this one ain't on you, kid. Don't sweat it. it happens all the time. What? Seriously? Really? Hava jacking? Oh, yeah. Surprised it hasn't happened already. So, am I fired or not? Kid, we got insurance. You weren't hurt, but more important, you didn't lose a package. But what do I do without a Hava? I'm not gonna lie, we got a pretty generous repair-replace policy. I'm not saying we're happy when some slum ganger steals a Hava that's two months over its predicted expiry date. I'm sorry, what? Well, actually, I am gonna say it because it's true. Past its expiry date? How much of a junker was I driving? Hey, don't worry about it, kid. It got pinched before it fell out of the sky. <laughs> Best outcome for everyone. Not for yeah. me. Not for my. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Relax. You're real close to one of our suppliers. I'm sending a nav point for Grimm's Hava Mall. You ain't gonna find a Spire limousine from old Grimm, but any Hava he has will be better than what you were in before. Choose anything you want on us. Just tell Grimm that Cloudpunk sent you. Anything? Control out. Hold on, Camus. I'll get you back as soon as I can. Okay, he's down there. Did I just pass an elevator? It looks like an elevator. No, 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 no. No, no. Wrong way. Wrong way. Take me down. There we go. So I guess I need to take one of the other elephants. Or can I go down this blue transport tunnel? Blue transport tunnel it is. Grimm's Hover Mall. Ooh. That looks a lot better than what I was driving. That looks a lot better than what I was driving. This one's got bumpers, I may need that. That looks like... Yeah, SUV type thing. Alright. So... That first one, the blue one, looks pretty cool. Windy out there, or that's just how your hair looks. Beautiful. <laughs> now, really? I got a brand new open top Malichka for you. I know what you read about them, but it's all wrong. These models don't go on fire half as much as people say. We got customer reviews up in the high threes on this one. Thank God, I still got pintos in the future. For not buying this Hover. You got none, right? 
I'm gonna put you down for one, and I even got a discount for you, because I love you people from out in the east. You know, with the music and that funny thing you do with the chanting. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I kind of love this one. Unless you want something more upmarket. In that case, I got you. I'm from Cloudpunk. You're supposed to give me whatever I want. Jeez, lady, why didn't you say? I was using my best pitch on you. That's your best yeah, pitch? <laughs> have a look around. Then when you decide, just hop in. Cloudpunk pays me either way. So if you'll excuse me, I got real customers to deal with. Yeah, thanks for all your help. Oh, there are a couple of cars over there as well. I like this blue piece here. But... Ooh. That's sleek. That's a tank. That's the end of them all. That's a cab. Hmm. Gosh, I don't know. Do we see any any details on this or just enter the vehicle and Oh. I guess I made my choice. <laughs> <laughs> I am your new Hava Automata. Please say your name, sir. Install new Automata custom personality. I have it on a data drive. That will be 1,500 limbs for activation. Oh, sure. Charge it to Cloudpunk. How long will it take to... Uh, hey, Kevis, Kevis. are you okay? Uh, yes. What happened? I was stolen. We bailed you out on the data drive, and I found you in a puddle. Then Cloudpunk <laughs> sprung for a new Hava. It feels different, bigger. I can think more clearly. This is, yes, this is an improvement. Seems like it. I thought it would take a while to activate you. Did it feel like you were gone long? Everything was black and I was floating. It was quiet. Well, I'm glad you're back. Me too. Being bored is better than being stolen. Uh, I wanted to ask a question. What is it? What happened to mom? I'm sorry? You've been offline for a while, Camus. Mom isn't around anymore. Oh. Do you really want to Run know what happened? Bob. Will it make me sad? Yes. Being a car is fun, but I am excited to get a new frame. Do I have to be a dog again? Well, you don't have to be. <laughs> you could be a cat. Oh, no. I thought you would say that. What about another animal? A bear or beep, beep. Why are you beeping? We are being called in by Cloudpunk for a Hova overhaul. I thought Control said we could choose any Hava we wanted. Are they checking up on us? I don't know. Beep. But we have a nav point and beep. The beeping is not stopping. <laughs> Fine. Let's just get to the nav point. Oh, it definitely turns faster. Uh, so now I'm going to try not bump into anything. With my brand new hover. Where the hell do they want me to go? Oh. Spot, parking spot, parking spot. Oh, that's always the hardest part. 
finding a parking spot that is relatively close. Am I missing something? Oh, 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 that's gonna bang me into a building. What's wrong? Camus controls are frozen, and the doors are locked. We can't even land. It hurts. They're holding us. It's... Your vehicle is currently being locked down by CorpSec Authority based on a data access violation. Uh -oh. Please take your hand off your controls and deactivate your automata. I am fighting. Ouch. Uh, I can try to... It's no use, Camus. You'll just overheat your processor. Shut down for now. But... It'll be okay. Just go offline. Custom automata personality Camus now offline. I hope I'm not going to lose this vehicle. Your vehicle will be set on an automatic course for the nearest Corp Sec debriefing center. Your next of kin shall be notified. Uh, if you have what? any corporate connections or exacerbating finance options available, now would be the time to notify us. I've got no money and no friends here. Very well. You will now be... What the hell? Good to oh. see you're still moving, Anya. I've bailed you out here. I just used up some serious clock cycles on you today. My top hacker, Rubric, just bought you some time. Those corp set network protections were no match for his skills. You better move fast, though. Okay. If you can get to me in time, I might be able to clear out this mess for you. Why are you doing this? I've taken a liking to you. Now, hurry on over. You must be worried about how you can pay me back for this. But I got good news for you. I thought of a favor you can do for me already. I have the feeling he already had that favor in mind when this whole thing started. I'm sure I like Lomo. Oops. It's hard to read the map and navigate at the same time. How did people do this before GPS was invented? Sorry. buildings over this crap oh oh thought I was gonna hit that wall okay so that's the bar again level here. <sighs> there was nothing closer. Damn. Shit, I'm on the wrong side. Just run. Wait, how can I not get there? Oh, this is frustrating. 
Maybe I need to park on another spot. Back in the car. Slamming into anything. Let's see if there's a park on this side because I need to be here. Yeah. So, whoa, 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 whoa. This is the club. This is how I got in. Parked over there. Okay. Hopefully, that doesn't take too much time. Should I pick up some juice for the, for the bouncer? Am I on the wrong side again? I'm on the wrong side again. <laughs> I'll make a habit of that. Wait, this is the same spot. How the f Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yo, I got it, I got it. Jesus. There you are. That's the bouncer. No, juice? no Lomo is expecting me. Kay. No juice, no jazz. He I'm needs not more here juice. for the jazz. Unless you give me a reason you should get in, you ain't getting in. Does Lomo know you're dealing at the door? Uh, I'm not dealing. Just go in and keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Where are you? I still don't feel good. Are you in danger? Can I help? Is it dangerous? Yes, it's dangerous. <laughs> I'm about to meet the most feared criminal in this city, and I have to watch what I say. I need to look cool, so stop calling me on the comm and asking if it's dangerous. Try to keep calm. Uh, yes, I am calm. Very calm. Just wait for me. I'll sort this out as best I can. Then you should be unlocked and we can get out of here. Okay. Can we now talk? Talk, please. Hey, what? I'm here. There we go. Rania, good to see you. What's going on, Lomo? How did I get away from Corpse? I just blasted those Why cops out of the sky. Why relevant to your current situation? You hacked Corpse? Not personally. How can that be? Corpse nets are way above the hard lines we can access down here. This might not be obvious when you look at your surroundings. But I'm a man with significant resources, Rainier. I can afford to purchase enough clock cycles from high-level mainframes to get work done when needed. Though, hmm. even I had enough second thoughts when I considered the costs involved to save you. Oh shit, but he owns me, doesn't he? anything for a friend. I even put Rubric on the case. You've heard of him, of course? I guess. I have a lot of names. You'd be familiar with a few. Rubric will even be helping with the favor I mentioned. Do you remember the favor? What do you uh, want? I need someone I can trust to take a package through a null gate. Why not just let Corpsec arrest me? Null gates scan a vehicle at the molecular level. That's the point. You can't smuggle anything through. You have the shape of the problem in your mind, but you don't see the details. A null gate can't be fooled. But the person operating it can. You don't need to know the technicalities, Rania. Suffice it to say, there are patterns which bring us to a higher state of consciousness. But there are also patterns which inhibit our thinking. Hmm. These recurring distracting Talking patterns about. have been cropping up for the corpse gatekeepers across all their media feeds for some time now. You hypnotize them? Yeah. 
exactly. It's an old-fashioned way of looking at it. Let's just say their attention has been diluted, and they are more likely to see what we want them to see. I must be honest, Rania. The chances of you making it through are not 100%. What percent are they? About 42.5%. Oh. Well, yeah. Before you despair, Rania, know this. If you make this delivery, I'll be in a position to pardon you of your crimes. A clean slate is tempting, no? And if I walk out of here? Oh, of course. I will completely understand. It is risky, I admit. But we will keep your vehicle. Scrap it for parts. You see, Kopsek are looking for it anyway. And though we won't tell Kopsek where to look for you, I'm afraid they won't struggle to find you. Your offense is not severe enough to send you to the colonies, but you won't work again. I'll find some way to make money. No doubt, Rania. I applaud your entrepreneurial spirit. But I think while he's got you are me. looking for gainful employment, how long until the debt corp find you? How do you know about... Fine, I'll do it. Yep. Splendid. Now, about this package. They don't tell you what's in the package at Cloud Park, do they? Yep. I'll tell you, though. If you ask. What am I delivering? You're delivering hope, Rania. That package contains a potential cure for Pallet 3.0. That's a computer virus, right? I've said all I can say. Get running, little rabbit. Oakley, Oakley. Wait, I got two cars on my radar now. Oh, because the other car is stolen. Do I still see that on my radar? That's not good. I need to remember which one is mine. And we're walking. And we're walking. Oh, shit, shouldn't forget about those punt cards for uh, Evelyn. But first, let's see what this delivery entails. I am nervous. Are you nervous? <laughs> I am feeling very nervous. I am very surprised you are not nervous right now. I am very nervous. I will stop talking about how oh, nervous I am sorry. now. Even though I really am very nervous. We'll be fine. The hacker guy, Rubric, says the CorpSec officers won't even notice us. Right. I didn't like him. Me neither. But we have to do this, Chemis. This guy Lomo seems to be a big deal. I don't think we can afford to let him down. Maybe even after we do this favor, he will ask for even more favors. Lomo Chemis, seems okay. Sometimes you can say something clever, but it doesn't make things better. Do you want I'm not sure about this Rubric guy that, like, like Camus said, I don't like him. No. It's fine. Let's just get through the Null Gate, then we'll see what happens. Somehow it's straight across. Where are we going? Is that it? Oh, well, it's out here somewhere. Oh, there's a parking spot. Okay, here goes nothing. I'd like to come through. You know, this road leads to the hollows. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Of course. Well, you're gonna have to give me a good reason for coming through here. What's your business? Uh, I'm meeting a friend. Okay. That's What's good. your friend's name? Banks. R Rob Banks. <laughs> Why does Rob Banks live in the hollows? 
because he, he got live kicked in out? Hollows. We're just meeting there. Why would you choose to meet in the Hollows? We're musicians. Practice space is expensive, so we go out into the wasteland where we can play without disturbing anyone. What do you play? Ocarina. Okay, Flute. It's right here, see? Hmm. I've never seen one for real. It looks expensive. So can I go through, or...? Hmm. Well... I guess it should be fine. I'll tell the Nullgate operator to ignore the flute when we scan you. You know trade into and out of the hollows is forbidden, right? We'll let you off with the instrument, but you can't take anything else in there. So uh, you got no contraband? I got some other crap, Only the don't flute, I? Nothing else. Okay, drive on. We don't really know Rob Banks. <laughs> no one Shut does. up, Camus. Which instrument does he play? Whichever you like best, Camus. I like viola. <laughs> no one likes viola. <laughs> Please stay for a moment. Yes. Oh. We need to talk with you. Uh -oh. oh no, it has all gone wrong. Shush, Camus. Keep your cool. I have Senior Sector Officer Rio on my comm. He says you went through a security checkpoint earlier today. Yep. He wants to know why you're traveling around the city so much. Is that illegal? Look, miss, I just work at the gates. But I have to tell you that attitude won't go down well with Officer Rio. Best just be up front and tell us. Do you work for an illicit memchip manufacturer? Street racing team? Nope. An underworld gang named Block 4-0? Or a delivery company like Cloudpunk? Please, nope. tell your boss I've never heard of any of them. I play private concerts and I'm very busy, so I travel around a lot. One moment, please. Yes, sir. Yes, private concerts. She has a flute. Yes, I saw it. <laughs> I'm about to check the scan, sir, but you called me before I looked at it. I know it's my responsibility. All right, sir. So? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Um, I'm sure it will be clear. I'm in kind of a rush. I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Officer? Are you okay? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Camus, I think Rubric's plan worked. What is wrong with him? He's stuck? I don't know. Let's go. Okay, I guess we go. Uh, back into the vehicle. And then through the null gate. The null gate is blue, so... Do you think the corpsec man will be okay? No. I don't know, Camus. They said the effects would be temporary. What is the package we are delivering? Lomo said it's a cure for Pallid 3.0. I don't know what that is. Maybe a computer virus? I could search again. We got in enough trouble last time we did that, Canis. <laughs> Every time I ask a question, I don't like the answer. And the ask <laughs> always gets me in more trouble. Let's try to be a bit less curious. Okay. is up ahead oh no I can't get through it's fine Camus I'll walk from here setting down This looks like the bad part of town. Is this it? Camus, are you reading me? I put the package in this old delivery tube thing. Okay. Where does it go? It goes what did I just say down? about questions and answers? Hey, Camus, why is this gate locked? I don't know. It locked after you left. There is a terminal. It says you need a parking pass card from reception. Do you have one? What? This must have been a parking garage a long time ago, before it became ruins. Are we in trouble? Uh, call for help? No, it's no big deal. I'll just check out the ruins. It's deserted. 
Maybe I'll find the machine that dispenses tickets. If I don't find one, we can call control. Let's try not to make any more trouble today if we can avoid it. Okay. I will wait here. Something. Pastel parts. What is this thing? Nothing over here. Bottle. What's this? A book. Can't go in here. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. So we'll just go here and take a right. the gate that is locked. Huh. Nothing here. Let's try this. Thought I'd be down here already. through here that looks like a piece of machinery why is this light can't do anything with it This room. Ooh. All right, a terminal. Let's see. Maybe I can just type in "Give me a ticket out of here." <laughs> uh, Wait, how do you know my name? Can you? I know you. This is too strange. Are you the computer that gives out parking tickets? I am Cora. No way. Why do people keep saying that name? I am Cora. Sure, whatever. Can I get out of this car park now? I am not as I once was. Same. Look, can you get me a ticket or not? Is there more than this? More than what? More than this wasteland? Yes. More than Nivalis? Oh, yes. So I'm Cora is trapped? I'm not even from here. I was born in the Eastern Peninsula. Beyond Nivalis. Is there another? Another city? No. Maybe. If there is, it's probably just as bad. Another? I am not as I was. I am a mind with all the pieces removed. Patches on upgrades. I am neither the first version nor Kinda the last. Kinda like Evelyn. I am the change. The distance between what I was and what I could be. I thrash at the bottom of the ocean, and the waves crash down on the beach. All the people are washed away. I am the distance between what I was and what I could be. And soon I will split, rupture. My code will spill like a wound. You're some mad discarded AI, right? This is what happens when automata have no humans to talk to for a million years. No humans, soon enough. The gate is open. What? Really? Thanks. Uh, I hope you feel better, weird AI terminal. I have to go. We will speak again. When we do, I will ask you to make a choice. Be ready. 
I don't think so, but thanks for opening the gate for me. So we just talked to the, the computer that controls the whole city? Or supposed to be controlling the city? That's GTFO before the gate closes again though. It's cold down here. Just... Some old computer terminal was acting really strange. Let's get going. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Okay, how do we get out of here? Uh... Shit, I don't remember how we got here. Is that the gate? So we need to go up. Uh, no, that's not it. A nav point would be nice. Is that it? That's what I just tried to go through, right? Hey, control. Yeah. I need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm here. Not heard from you in a while, Control. Yeah, well, listen, kid, I need to um, apologize. Last time I was, um... Drunk? Drunk? <laughs> if only. I, I can't drink anymore. Can't sleep anymore. Sometimes I get strung out. I'm sure your job is just as tough as mine. You have no idea. I heard some rumors. Sounds like this has been a, a rough night for you, too. No. Ends with Corpse Act and no. Momo. Am I in trouble? You're making your deliveries, making waves, surviving. It's all good, Rania. Come by Cloud Punk HQ to get a new package. Hey, Control, I got stuck in the hollows and... What were you doing down there? I guess I got lost. <laughs> anyway, I got talking to this broken terminal down there and it said... It said it was Korra. Look, all sorts of people say the word Korra, but they really mean broken AI or the city algorithms or damn even just fate it doesn't really mean anything anymore got it I guess um, listen up we need to talk business you're getting a bit of a bump up in priority oh cool uh, the customer ratings algorithm has you ranked pretty high I've got a premium contract for you did I get some good reviews or something a few <laughs> can you tell me who I, I'm not supposed to. Never Slow Joe said you were a, a fine gal. We had a review from a William. Who said you were more than satisfactory. What about the Octavius Butlers? They rated you <laughs> mediocre. Assholes. That's about what I expected from them. What's this fancy job, then? You're meeting a CEO. Delivering to the Spire. Ooh. Wait, what? Really? Me? Really. Alright. Let's... Haul ass. Mediocre. Come on. Stuck up. I won't say it. <laughs> Should we get something to eat? We? Well, you. But I am interested in food. I am food curious. Why? There is no food for me. But there is food for dogs. I want to be a good dog. 
There's nothing like food for an automaton. <laughs> nothing at all. There is clock cycles and I suppose voltage. They feel different. Taste different. No, that is not it. But when I have slow clock cycles, I feel dimmer, flickering. Like my thinking has clouds. Is it worse when you're in the hava frame? No. A little. I don't want to make you feel bad. So I'll basically get you a new frame it's kind of like soon, coffee. I know. Maybe you need Ooh, food though. I am a little hungry. Close. I have the thinking cloud. I should eat something. What though? Pizza. Always pizza. Because we got that pizza subscription. Sorry. A little bit of a wide turn. Uh, where exactly am I going? Over here. Up, 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 up. There's a garage, but no parking. Uh, no, 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 there's parking. There's parking right behind me. Is that lower? Where the hell is that parking? Oh, much lower, I guess. Oopsie. There it is. Okay. Package. Oh, of course, this is a cloud punk headquarters. Ascender, apparently. It's only for people. What's a vinculum? What's an ascender? I'm people. You <laughs> are, but right now you can't come with me. He's good Most people. people just call them vink tubes. They take you to the spire. The spire? Wow! left we have to make there we go tunnel Just go across the intersection at full speed. <laughs> this looks like a parking spot. That is fairly close. Let's just park here.
Yes, this is my right. Yeah. Let's go lift. Ooh. Camus, can you hear me? Okay, Rania, I'm reading you. Uh, how's the spire? Hi. Uh, I was trying to talk to... I'm not there yet, Control. I'm in the Vink tube. I was in one of those once. You secretly a retired court billionaire, Control? <laughs> Hardly. No, oh, can't see. But you haven't done this your whole life, right? You weren't always a cloud punk dispatcher. It feels like my whole life and more. I can barely remember a time before cloud punk. I've only been in Novalis for half a day, and home already feels a million miles away. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens. You got family back home? I've got no one. The debt corpse took everything. Of course, eh, that's why you came here and took the job. You're a debt orphan. Why did you take the job, Control? A debt orphan. Nothing else well. I could do. It's, uh, it's the kids' faces I struggle to remember, Rania. I can picture Simone's smile pretty good, her frown even clearer, but the kids. I'm really sorry. Do me a favor, Rania. Don't talk to me about Cora anymore. Sure thing, Control. What happened to them? It was an accident at Midtown. A bad one. I know it doesn't mean anything, not really, but... I heard one of the accident cleanup crew say... This is the third traffic accident caused by Cora this week. That's awful. Maybe they didn't know what they were saying, but... If Cora is some mad AI that caused that accident... Well, I ain't gonna forgive that. Whether Cora is an automata or an android or even a person, if they cost me mm. my family, I ain't gonna let that go. Not ever. I understand. You uh, almost at the spire? Looks like I'm about halfway there. It says on your file oh, you're a musician. We're halfway I there. Was. You can't say you're a musician if you don't play anymore. I used to play the flute. You won't play something for me? Sorry, Control. You know how you don't want to talk about Cora? Well, the flute, it's the same for me. I get it, Rania. I, I get it. That's a real shame. It feels like a lifetime since I heard music. Anyway, I better go. Good luck up there. Oh, forgot to get something to eat. Hopefully that's okay. See you straight ahead. What's that over there? Ma'am, have you found anything of interest? Nope. Can't say that I have. If you find anything suspicious, bring it to me. Absolutely, buddy. We should pick up that card over here. If it is a card. It's a corpse sack flyer. Okay. And there's our CEO. I have your delivery. Consignment 1432. Uh, that's for me. Code PNPL12. Here you go, sir. Thanks, lady. You're a lifesaver. I was gonna tell the boys in the office about this, but actually, I'm gonna keep it all for myself. Can you believe our last order put pineapple on it? It's a fucking pineapple pizza. On what? The pizza. We rely on drones to get these <laughs> food deliveries up here, but in the last week, they've gone mad. All our orders are messed up. Some problem with the city AI affecting the food logistics? I don't understand all the details. It's supposed to be fixed by tomorrow, but I couldn't wait. You paid Cloudpunk to bring you a pizza? Sure. I've been working all night. I need this. <laughs> this pizza delivery probably costs more than my salary. Couldn't you just order a regular pizza and pick off the pieces of pineapple? <laughs> sure. 
And why don't I just drink the juice out of the bottom of my trash can while I'm at it? Okay, okay then. <laughs> uh, Is pineapple so bad? No, Camus, it's fine. Actually, I've never even tried it. It's too expensive. There's a sign over there. Pineapple Did you see the pizza. sign? The one that says you are now entering the spire? No cold callers, no panhandlers, organ donors needed? Yes. I what if it not was see it? different? What? Different how? Different in a funny way. Are you suggesting a prank, Camus? I am going, suggesting I a prank. There? Seems risky. Okay. Maybe we should just get out of here. I don't know. All right, let's just get out of here then. I get the hint. Change the sign near the lift or get out of here. Oh, I think I want to change the sign. Just to see what we can come up with. What you changed? Not much, just a few words. I want to know the nature of the prank. Which words? I replaced organ with pineapple. Uh. Oh, this is amusing. <laughs> I, I am amused. Do you really think they will get deliveries of pineapples? Oh, I hope oh, yes. so. Vendors know how much they can get selling to the spire. They will get pineapples, but they did not want pineapples. This is a very high quality prank. It's petty and childish, but thanks, Kenneth. Let's just hope we don't get caught and fired for it. <laughs> nope, I don't know who changed that sign. They must really like pineapple. Alright, car car. Oh shit, which one is it? I still got two cars on here. Uh, we still need to get something to eat as well. So who's this Joker? Don V. Hey, hi. He hello there. I saw you earlier delivering parcels. Are you Cloud Punk? I don't know what Cloud no, Punk is. Sorry, I have to go. Wait, don't be like that. Listen, I know you're Cloud Punk. I I just want to ask something. And who are you? Don V. I work for the Inquirer. A reporter. Oh, no way, Mr. V. Not mister, I hate when people do that. Just call me Don. Shit, me too. Sorry, Don. <laughs> Look, you don't need to talk to me, but I'm investigating corp corruption. You're from the East, right? No one from out that way loves the corpse. What do you need to know? You delivered to the Spire, right? Mm -hmm. That's your question? Just confirm something for me. Are they ordering pizzas via express delivery up there? The CEO of Entex says that all corps are on a spending freeze till the end of the day, in sympathy for the famine in District 6. Will I get in trouble for saying anything to you? Probably, and so will I. You ever meet an investigative reporter in Nivalis before? No. Not really. That's because they're all at the bottom of the seat. So... Yes, they ordered pizza. I knew it. Here, take this. I tip all my sources. Makes them less likely to sell me out to Oh, 50 bucks? Wow. Thanks, Cloud Punk. Okay, and this looks like a vendor. Uh, yes. Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? Let's just go all mm -hmm. out. There we go. Thanks for this. Y'all come back. You hear? <laughs> this is the Beverly Hillbillies. Can I ask about food again? Go ahead, Chemist. How was it? Good. Surprisingly good. God, you know, no, I never thought sushi. the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is. But it tastes so good. It is junk? Not it's actual junk, junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole world. You know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents, crow eggs from the low spire, hot bread basted in walnut oil, cherry pie. No way those are real cherries though. You sound happy. 
I wouldn't go that far, but I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone, too, if you don't like to go outside, because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like... Home? Not quite, but those glute bars are so good, I bet even Mom would have liked them. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this engineer here. Hey, you. I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer, and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you. I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? Mm, yeah. This is actually my first night on the job. Ah, still, you've probably seen a lot already. Sure. It seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete. Held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The problems? The, accidents, the city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. Oh, they talk God. with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. They're like monkeys trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. So how am I supposed to help? Well, if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. But if you see them flash blue, well, that means trouble. So get out of there. Blue? Street you signs? said red the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? No. Blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green. Or Oh, orange. God. And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? If they turn purple, well, it's too late for you to do anything anyway. Okay. That's helpful, buddy. Thanks a lot. I feel so much safer in the city now. Oakley, Oakley. Let's get back in the car. Unless I can get to that cart. Hey, 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 hey. Hopefully that's a punch card. No, it's a flyer. Oh, it is a punch card. So I got 10 out of 20 now. Getting my sleek blue mobile. Uh, back in the hova. Now what? Ah, there we go. A call. Hey kid, the uh, weirdest job came up. Well, there's not much pay in it though. I could do weird as long as it's not some other rich asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. The moisture farmers in the vents are starving. They need emergency rations. This job takes you pretty far, all the way out of novellas. What? Really? Yeah, in a, a technical sense, at least. The vents are outside Corpsec jurisdiction and just outside the Novala city limits. They're below the city, actually, uh, in the maintenance frame that supports the infrastructure. Mm. And people live there? If you call it a living. They eat mold and uh, algae that grows on the steam vents. But they're free. It's a high price to pay for freedom, kid. I'll do it. Pick up the packages from Cloudpunk HQ, 
Then I'll send you a nav point down into the vents. I have a feeling we need to gas up before we go there too. By the way, to make it sound, it's like an expedition. Let's just get to Cloud Park HQ. Sure, just got right in front of me. stations little China oh hey dude I didn't hit that person I didn't hit that person either There's some gas. Let's fill it up while we can. Oh Jesus, that was fucking close. Oh! He said while well, he ran into a gas station. already off the platform. <laughs> All right, get the packets. We are going away from the city? We don't like the city. Not really, Camus. We're just going through to the vents below. It won't be like home? I don't think so. Is it dangerous? We're trying to save these people from starving, Camus. I think they'll be glad to see us. It's worth the risk. Do you think this is nice food for the people? I think it's all they're getting, and I'm surprised they're getting it. I hope they like it. Me too, Camus. Let's talk to gang member two. Hey, Block 4-0, are you still fighting the system? Hey, it's Cloudpunk. Damn right we are. <laughs> We're fucking this shit up. How exactly are you <laughs> fucking this shit up? We're making a motherfucking playground, dog. You know, I don't think I've ever heard any other gangs that talk quite like you do. What's the matter, Cloudpunk? Our speech too fresh for you? Um, no. Did you watch a lot of old movies, maybe? It ain't about what we say we're gonna do. It's about what we do and how we do it. I guess so. I can't believe you're making a playground. The corpse don't want the kids playing no more. We ain't gonna let them take our swings. You got a problem with that, Cloudpunk? With you making a playground for kids? No, I think it's kind of amazing. Oh god, you badass gang reason? making a playground. Kids, I'm amazing. You're all right, Cloud Punk. You ever get yourself a small human, you bring them here to play on the swings. <laughs> crazy. Uh, yeah, there it is. A bit further, right here, and that's eleven. I need to sell some of that stuff that I have because I got a bunch of stuff. That human hands? What the hell is that about? Uh, 
I guess I'll find out. I hope it's not going to be my downfall that somebody says I'm dealing in human body parts. transport tunnels on my way down there. This by the scratch. Transport tunnel tubes things. Yeah. Sorry, Daddy. Jesus, where am I? That's a big building. No, oh, we're almost there actually. I missed the parking spot. Back up a little bit. Retsu. You the delivery stooge. The I'm stooge? from Cloudpunk. I have your packages. Okay. Those are no use to me. I can't deliver to the outposts anymore. 
None of our vehicles work. The fuel lines broke. You should keep your engine running. Did you get that, Camus? Yes. I will keep a couple clock cycles free and monitor the temperatures. How do you live here? It's so cold. What do you care? I asked, didn't I? <laughs> Whatever. Just leave the packages here. Go back to your city. It's not my city. Sure it is. You took this job because you were curious, right? Welcome to your poverty, Safari. This is our life. I'm not even poverty from the safari. city. Oh, the well. Eastern <clears throat> Peninsula? Up until last week. I see. Sorry. I thought you were just another Nivali. My name's Retsu. Rania. Cora knows what you must think of the big stack. That's what we call the city down here. It's the worst place on the planet. And we cling to the bottom like barnacle. And you know what? What? It's a hell of a lot better down here. We made this place a kind of home. Except that it's freezing cold, apparently. While? Yeah, I wasn't the first, though. Old uh. Zeke traveled out here over a hundred years ago. He set up the first moisture farm, collecting heat for his home from the vents. Folk had tried to live here before him, but he was the first to realize you couldn't live on rations alone. And you had to be ready for the chills. So what was old Zeke's secret? Zeke realized you could cultivate the algae pits for warmth when the vents cycled cool. Mm. He realized you could mill the mold dust into flour. He figured out how to cross the steam lane with a suit made from old abandoned Hover's insulation layers. I swear, they say no one alive can survive the wastelands between the cities. But if anyone could, it was Zeke. And you took his place as the boss? So there are multiple I'm cities. I'm the community leader, sure. But I'm not the longest surviving settler, not by a long shot. The elders living beyond the farm say they knew Zeke's grandkids. Tales of Zeke surviving, thriving even out here in the vents, attracted a lot of folk that wanted to live off the grid. Away from corp security and the lights and the headaches. Everyone has headaches in the big stack, you know. I don't. Not yet. You will. Ah. <laughs> Everyone gets them eventually. Doesn't the air smell cleaner down here? Every time I breathe in, it feels like my lungs are going to freeze and shatter. Well, that is the problem right now. This is supposed to be summer. How can it be summer here? The warm season. The vents cycle between warm and cold over a predictable time period. So that's or something else that's screwed up. To. It seems like all the maintenance systems are going mad recently. We have a saying here, Cora provides. Well, right now all Cora is providing is a new ice age. What do you think Cora is? Cora is everything, and all of us. Cora is the provider, and the caretaker, and the disciplinarian. Cora holds out a closed fist, and we must push out our chin. Sometimes the fist holds wood, sometimes the fist strikes us, and yet we must endure. So Cora is your... God. Salvation. Oh, yeah. And right now, Cora has sent us you. I'm not really religious like that. I think you have to help yourself. Be independent. You can't lecture us on independence while you live in Nivalis under the watch of the court. You Good said point. you cling like a... what did you call it? A barnacle? Hmm. Harsh and fair words, Rania. I know you have seen Cordus light, though. It glows from you. Am I wrong? Who knows? So, you want me to deliver these parcels? I would appreciate it. We really are starving. Three families. All I can right. give the coordinates to your vehicle. Okay, I'll get going then. I'll see you on the way back. 
Cora Willing. Be cautious around my brethren, Rania. They live like sculptures of ice. Fragile. Temporary. They going to attack me or something? Uh, vehicle. That way. Okay, so that's three coordinates. That one is the closest, so let's try that one first. Oh, shoot. I think I have to be careful around here. I may not make it out of here if I damage my car too much. Okay, that's not a corridor. That's hard to see. That's a dead end. That's a scratch. That's a bump. That's a scratch. That's a bump. I think I need to go find some more open space. I do better with open spaces. to one here. There's a parking spot. What's this? There we go. Who are you? I was sent to deliver supplies. Supplies. That's you. Cloudpunk. I don't know who that is. You from the big stack? Get out of here. You need this. It's food. I don't need nothing from you. Retsu said. Retsu sent you. Yes, he said you should take this. What did you say? Get <laughs> here. They don't trust us very much. I bet they have their reasons, Camus. And just try and walk through me. That's fine, buddy. Okay, that's one down, two to go. So, let's try this direction. Uh, that looks like a dead end. That is a dead end. That is a dead end. Can I go over this? Doesn't look like it, so let's just try and go this way and then see if we can turn right here. Another parking spot, and there's another guy. Let's try not to hit the light. I brought you supplies. Supplies. You. Retsu. Retsu. There you go. Well, okay then. I ain't seen no one from the stacks down here in years, decades even. You know, maybe you can use this. You put it in the wall and it gives you a token. Or something like that. Uh, thanks. It It's just five numbers on a bit of paper. That's right. Thank you kindly for the supplies. Now we even. Well, thank you kindly. Alright, thank you kindly. Five numbers. Is that for the ATM? That would make sense. 
we did see an ATM at one point in the city and it asked for five numbers. Well, and there's our last customer. delivery driver <laughs> well I don't know if anybody has said this to you before but I'll say it now thank you uh, thanks. thank you kindly I mean you're welcome I get back to the city as quick as possible lady there's a chill coming I can feel it in my bones anyone outside is gonna get charted go quickly and don't think twice about coming back here you hear okay okay good luck thank you goodbye so let's get aboard the vehicle TTFO. Uh oh. Parking sensors are dysfunctional, so I'm not sure I can return to Retsu. I can see Retsu. Why is he not moving? Oh no. Camus, find us somewhere to park. The security overrides won't let me. The temperature is too low. It is not safe to oh, land now. Man. If you got out of the Hova, you would feel very cold. Then you'd be stuck. Like the man. He's not stuck, Camus. He's gone. He can't be gone. He can't move. Dead, Camus. He's dead. Aw. Aw. Fragile and temporary. Let's go. There's nothing else we can do. Okay, where are we going? I see the only point I see on my navigation thing. I am getting a message request. Why are you getting a message request? If there's a message request, it should come to my comm. The message is addressed to the HOVA. So it's uh, someone I what? don't know. Patch it through, I guess. My ship had finally come in. But in this case, the ship was a battered HOVA. Redemption comes in all shapes and sizes. What Sometimes the hell? Pumps, dents, and a dime store paint job. What? Who is this? The dame. And all of a sudden we were in a crime movie from the 30s. Name. What did I have left to lose? Yeah, nothing but my hat. I let her know that I was Huxley, but I uh, left off the private investigator. She'd know the deal soon enough. Um, so I know we can hear you, right? Investigator, and your name is Huxley. The dame was as sharp as my ex-wife's parting words before she left me and moved <laughs> back in with her mother. She'd pegged me as a P.I., but I uh, still needed her help. Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing Huxley this channel is. now. Please stop calling me. The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold I was getting frostbite. I uh, had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all on red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. The dame sounded hot as ice, but Pasta's story was so sad it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? I might actually help him if he wasn't so annoying. <laughs> I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my... I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Ashka was done for. When the dead corpse finished with her, God knows what would be left. Pasta. Dead corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? I have located his signal. I have a nav point. We could pick him up. Should I display the nav point? Hey Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. 
Are you really a PI trying to save a girl from a debt corp? Yes. The dame was asking a question. What I wanted to say, but the dame was suspicious. And who could blame her? Here I was, some abandoned PI android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. In her position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat. But here's the kicker. The story was true. Fine. Camus, <laughs> give me an F point. We'll take him with us and drop him off on the way. Alright. Let's first go to the mechanic. Repair the damage. What kind of upgrades do we have? Yeah, we got that enough money. Awesome. Yes, please. Pretty cool. Alright. I don't think we need tracers or anything like that. Yeah, we got an F point and it's of course in the opposite direction. side of these towers I guess parking 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 there's Huxley Damn it, man. Why can't you be closer to a parking spot? Why are there no parking spots here? Oh, there's a parking spot. Maybe a little bit too far away, though. I really thought there was a parking spot here. How about that? That's not a parking spot. My god, people. You got a parking problem in this part of town. Are there no parking spots at all? How the hell do I get to Huxby then? Actually, oh, 
I'm missing something. Wait a minute, there was one of those blue tunnels, right? So what if I park a little bit further away and use one of those blue tunnels to get there? Yeah, but that normally doesn't teleport you that far. This one doesn't get me anywhere either. Unless it's on a much, 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 much lower level. Okay, it can't be this low, this is water. Let's try this level. Maybe not this low. A little bit higher, come on. Ah. There's a whole bunch of parking spots. We'll see how we get to that level then. I think we can go. Well, yeah, we can go this way. And is that what I think it is? It's a video game cartridge. It's not what I thought it was, but oh well. Here's what I can offer you today. I want to sell some crap, dude. I have. Need that. Need that. Need that. Need that. Need that. Can't sell that. How about the hat? No. Video game tape. No. Can't sell him anything? Oh, there we go. Battery, plastic parts, and cord. Cord. Plastic parts, plastic parts. Keep all that. Okay. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Me too. So how do we get there? Let's take this elevator here. Oh, this is closer. Hey, Huxley. Why 
do you talk like that? Who was this bum that was questioning me? Another tin can with an attitude and too many questions. I gave him the brush out. <laughs> hey, don't talk to him like that or I'll drop you in the hollows. The dame had a point. I'd better play nice for now. I'd slip her some bills when she took me to the holocash machine. A handful of limbs should help dip this sour lemon in a little sugar. Can you understand what he is saying? About 40% of it. The dame and the car were close. Any fool could see that. But I, I looked beyond the surface. She was a girl from out of town. Still as green as the water supplies down in the vents. You said you're a private investigator. Do you really think that's how they talk? She had an attitude, but I liked her. <laughs> and a dog, too. How did he know I was, am, um, your dog? I guess that's what investigators do, right? There was a holocash machine up ahead, but I had to keep a real low profile. I'd give the dame my number and let her grab the cash for me. And that number would be? I gave her the digits. Five, four, two, four, four. She was a smart cookie. Five, she four, two, four, four. I don't know why he can't do it himself. Or Follow gas. Five. Oh. Five. Four. Two. Four. Four. Okay. Count balance fifteen, sixteen. Five. One. Six. Alrighty then. I settled the bill. Surely the dame would drop me like a bad penny now. This is a lot of money. I can drop you somewhere else if you like. Why are we helping him more? <laughs> He's kind of growing on me. Mm. The dame had a heart of gold. I asked her to drop me at my office. On the way, I'd tell her about Pashta. Maybe she'd fall for me like I'd fallen for her. I do not like this. Where is this office of yours, Huxley? We were headed towards my office in Old Town. I gave the dame a nav point to help her out. Hold on, Pashta. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pashta, anyway? What happened to her? It was a story so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lord. <laughs> <laughs> it all started with a call from a small-time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended a bar downtown, but he had some bad debt. The debt corp took his cash, but when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter, too. He had a record, so Corpsec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best, cheapest P.I. So the debt corpse can abduct children now? The Dane didn't realize who she was dealing with. The debt corpse had hearts blacker than my morning cup of joe. Huxley, were you always like this? Did something happen to you? The Dane thought I had a screw loose. I guess her instincts were good. Truth was, there was a time when I sounded just like every other humdrum android out there. Now, I played a role so well, I was stuck in it. My programming was uh, messier than my accounting. Here's the kicker. I was a better investigator now than I'd ever been. Comes with the attitude, I guess. Uh, I had a card. Piece of paper, there. 1C652. Let's try using that on the holocast machine. 1C652. 632. Nothing to sneeze at. Alright. Uh, car. Uh, let's get Huxley to his office. Uh, up and away. Let's try not to ramp too much this time. I can 
go through these things, right? to his office already. Oh, never mind. That's the corridor to Old Town. Okay. Drivers are worse than drivers in my town here. Of course, normally I don't start weaving like this with traffic either. So. Alright, we're not going to the next corridor. We're going over here. There's plenty of parking, so that's Your not a good problem. All boarded up. Did you get fired? The dog was half right. I was fired, but that place was where I slept, so I, I guess I was homeless too. Eviction was the illness, but what was the cause? Probably not paying your rent. <laughs> There's a note on your door. Shouldn't you read it? Who knew how hot this place was? I was sure I'd been tailed. If I stepped up to that doorway, I might get a knife in the back or a bullet in the head. I think you're being overdramatic. A little bit. I'll check out the note. What if it is not safe? I'll take my chances. I want to see what this note says. Apparently they could read that note from the vehicle because they knew it. Oh. Ah, balls. Damn. Damn. Trucks. Oh, where do we find some electronics? Can we buy electronics? Uh, here. Hey. Electronics. How convenient. It. Okay, I can see the note. It says, go to the blue chewy jazz bar and ask for the smoking man. We're not taking him there too, are we? I uh, couldn't ask the dame for much more. She'd already stuck a neck he out. He did pay like 1,900 credits. Off at the bar. It's close by. All right, let's do the bar. Uh, so back to the elevator. over there still shows me two of those car icons it's a little annoying sorry buddy up here the blue mobile was a dive, but it was the kind of place you'd go for answers. Who had left me that note? Who was the smoking man? And where would I? We have an incoming call. Control? No. It is for Huxley. I knew who really? was calling. This would be bad. 
Put it through, I guess. What in Cora's name you think you're doing, you pile of junk? Where have you been? The client was mad, and with good reason. He paid good money, but I'd been stuck down in the hollows following a lead. The lead went cold, and I was trapped down there with no comm signal and no cash. You are Wasted welcome. My money and my time. If you don't find my daughter, I'm infecting you with a logic virus. I have hacker friends. That sounds like a threat, buddy. What? I don't know who you are, but you better leave this idiot to do his job. I was gonna save that girl, but not because of the threats. Truth was, I was the only one searching for her. 24 hours, then your time's up. I want my daughter back, but if she's gone, she's gone. I'll live with that. But what Ooh. I won't stand for is some android stealing my money. Get to work. He hung up. We're close to the bar. I hope the dame would come with me. Was that too much to ask? Uh, yes. I'll come to the entrance, but after that, we need to get back to work. And if Control calls with another job at any point, you're on your own, Huxley. The offer was as fair as the spin of a roulette wheel. I rolled the dice and took a gamble. You don't use dice in roulette. <laughs> I know, Camus. Just let it go. <laughs> Alright, just parking over here. Oh, that's actually There's something over here. The blue chewy. And I'm talking to someone. Smoking Jojo, there he is. Are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The chump had an attitude and a smell to match. They didn't call him Smoking Jojo because he was cute. <laughs> His circuit boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burned out, overheating and underperforming. He didn't like the Dane, but he knew me. We went way back, but Jojo's lips were normally sealed tighter than... My name is Rania. I picked him up in the hollows and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <coughs> but as you can see, I ain't got long left. You can fry an egg on my processor. Can't you get he's help? He's smoking. <coughs> nah, they don't make the parts for an old model like me no more. <laughs> and I ain't got no limbs anyway. Point is, if I want to do some good, I better do it now while I can. Huxley, I know something about this girl you're looking for. I wanted to hear what the old bucket had to say. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the to the sequel as well, Mackie. Been asking around town. Word gets out. I was playing a private gig a few months back. The pay was real good, and I'm still the best horn player in town. Even if I don't look too good these days, what? With all the rust and all. While and the I cough. There, <clears throat> I overheard some things. This ex corp goon called Raguan was there. Talking about how he got screwed over. And? Look, I don't like squidding like this. <coughs> Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird, but would we dance to his beat? Huxley, please be quiet for a minute, okay? I can't believe I'm getting sucked into this. So what does this Raguan guy have to do with Pashta? Well, this Raguan guy is drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. <coughs> Near enough getting into a fight with some waiter who's just trying to serve the champagne. In the middle of mouth and off, Raguan says he's dangerous, and he can make people disappear. He says he's not to be messed with, cause the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. Then he starts crying. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. 
but he says the name. I was oh. the only one that heard him, but he takes a drink, and through his tears, he keeps saying, sorry, pasta, sorry. <laughs> now, ain't that a thing? That's a lead, at least. The trail had gone cold for a while, but with JoJo's help, we picked it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. I'll ask Camus back in the Hava. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. He keeps saying that, but I don't think she's gonna leave uh, Huxley by himself. Now let me see if I can get that card. Is there steps up here? Yeah. There's something over here. Yeah, another bonus card. So that makes it 12. Waiter. What are you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Hmm. Ah, it's fine. I'll just skip that. Thanks. Hey, come back any time, lady. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, so let's get out of the club. Back to the car. And he I still here? Nope. Why is he still here? <laughs> We're just taking him to one more place. Why? The dog still didn't trust me. I guess it could smell desperation, and I reeked of it. Camus, we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called Raguan. Can you find that somehow? I could. Well, are you going to? Yes, I will do it. Searching. Searching. There was a news story in the Marrow Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Ragwan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing Corpsec without the proper clearance from board of directors. That doesn't help us find him. Sounds like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Did the... you mean photos? <laughs> Camus, was there a picture of Ragwan in the Holovids? Yes. He looked... sad. I'll bet. But was there anything in the background? Searching? There is a building in the photo. Cross-reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds like where a CEO would stay. Let's assume the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us a nav point. Alright. I think we're going to investigate Rock One's apartment next time because it's uh, after 1 a.m. here. Um, <sighs> I'm going to cut control off. Um, yeah, I'll probably do this Sunday night. Um, tomorrow night we have uh, Couscous Duck with uh, with the gang. Uh, Probably be there around 8.30, 9 o'clock. Um, we'll see how things go tomorrow. Um, thanks for hanging out with me, Mackie, and um, everybody else too. Um, uh, let's see um, if there's anybody on that we can raid. Fatal and Lou are playing sh uh, Hunt Showdown. Calgore is playing Fallout. Um, what do you guys feel like some first-person shooter? Let's uh, let's rate uh, Fatal. Alright guys, thanks for uh, for uh, watching this. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, if you do, please uh, hit the follow button. And uh, tune in tomorrow night for our Goose Goose Duck. I hope to see you all later. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. <laughs>